What's going on guys, it's your boy Bolt Raddy here and uh, today I'm bringing you a Sony Vegas transition tutorial. This is, I honestly don't know how to explain this, uh, I guess you could say it's kind of like a window or wall type of transition, but anyways, you want to import two clips, we'll import this one, and we'll go ahead and import, where's my ground war clip? I'm gonna go ahead and find a clip with like a window or a door. I wonder if I have another clip. One second. This isn't the best example to use, but um, it'll work. Yeah, we'll just use this CAD four. No scope. So let's erase. Yeah, let's take the audio out. Alright. So what you want to do is take this clip right Control Z. You want to drag this clip over here. Drag this one to the end. So let's just cut this off real quick. Alright, we'll just cut it off right there. It doesn't need to be. This is a tutorial, so. Alright, then you want to match your clips up so they're right next to each other. Then you want to go over here and make sure this is on best and full. Take a screenshot, name it whatever. File in oh, no, So you want to put it above this. It's in Sony Vegas messes up and it puts this extra contrast on here that we don't need. We're gonna have to go ahead and put a little bit of color correction or brightness and contrast on it. So we'll do this. Okay. Then you want to go to the event pan crop. You want to go down here, click check box, check mark the, the mask. And then you want to go over here, zoom in as far as you can. About right here. Then you want to go back and click your anchor creation tool and just create a mask around this. And then you want to go over here and make sure it's set to negative. So then you see this uh, little cut out right there. So what you're going to do is go back to position. You want to zoom all the way out on this. And then you want to zoom in until you're by the window. As I said before, this is a really bad example because I don't have the best clip to do it. You just want to match it up so the window is like kind of in the middle. And just keep zooming in until. That should be nice. Okay, so as you see, if you play this through, that nothing happens. And it just cuts the next clip. So, what you want to do is go over here on this clip that you just did. You want to go all the way to the end, right click, hit restore. And as you see right here, it goes really fast. So you might need to uh, stretch this out a little bit and then drag this down. And that's basically all you do. Or you can also copy this, insert a new video track, uh, we'll just check this up, paste this, then we'll have to delete these keyframes, and then yeah, delete the keyframe, then restore this, and so when it's about like, right there, right there-ish, we'll have about We'll zoom this in a little bit. Actually, we'll just restore that. So then what you want to do is drag this down about here. And then you want to go to transitions and you can do a linear wipe. Or another cool one is, um, let me see really quick where it's at. 
I have like a wave effect. Nah. So we'll just do the uh, linear wipe. No, let's go straight down. So then if you selectively pre-render this after a few minutes. Also guys, uh, be sure to check out my the channel that I manage called By Cloud 9 We upload some nice chill music to uh, some really nice chill mu music to listen to and use for montage and edits. So please go ahead and uh, check that out. It's a really nice channel. Uh, we mainly upload chill edits, but you know, I honestly don't like promoting different channels. But this is a really new, nice channel. So go ahead and check that out. Alright, so what you want to do is play this. And it looks, it's a really nice transition to use. But that's about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I'll bring more advanced transition tutorials for After Effects uh, some well we'll say about next week so hope you guys enjoy this thanks